All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we'll be reviewing Punch Fu Manchu. Uh, interesting looking cigar. Oh, okay, I just dropped it. Be right back. All right, back. Uh, the cat, this part right here is a different color wrapper than this. And they have a weird uh, uh, rat tail. I, I don't know what this is. Just extra tobacco hanging right here. Um. So yeah, this cigar is signed in by Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Um. I will leave his page and the description. Go check him out. He's a good guy. But yeah, it's, this. I usually don't smoke punch, but he signed me this, so let's review it. It's so humid out here. I am sweating just by sitting here. Nothing much. Spicy. Cedar. On the foot. A little bit cocoa as well. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. This uh. Am I supposed to smoke it? Like this? I'm not sure. All right, let's cut it and light it. I honestly don't know what to do with that. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I guess smoke it like that. It feel weird in the lip with this thing. From the cold jaw. The cedar. That's it. All right. Let's hit the intro. Cedar creaminess. Light pepper spice on the retro hell. A little bit of cocoa. A little floralness, tiny bit, not too much. Leather, earth. And baking spice lingering after the retro hell. It's actually not bad. Not bad so far. All right, I see you guys at the end of the first third. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the first third. So, uh, this cigar is very fruity, stone fruit forward, and a little bit of coffee and cedar, and a little bit of leather come through on the retro hell with a red pepper spice. And on the retro hell finish, you have this nice little bit, little bit of floralness, which is good. And yeah, but this thing, this thing right here. This thing annoyed me, so yeah, screw you. It, it annoyed me when I put it on the lip when I smoke it, but I don't know why. What is this? This is useless. Fu Manchu. I know what does it mean. It, I, it stands maybe for like a, like, you know, those Chinese movie with the guy with the braided rat tail or his whisker or fun of it, right? But yeah, just annoying when you put a map, mouth and I just busted the cap because of that. But cool. Alright. It dropped. 
and I can't Fu Manchu it. <laughs> so yeah, it's stone fruit forward. A little bit of chocolate, cocoa, tiny bit, uh, earthy, and that's it for the first third. I see you guys at the end of the second third. All right, guys, welcome back. We're the end of the second third. So, I got more chocolatey. No, not chocolatey. My fault. Uh, more coffee to it. Here's the band, and there's something in the back. Money doesn't, doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy a cigar. Damn right! And that's happiness to me. I could buy cigars, I'm happy. I like that. Money can buy everything. Money can fix almost everything. And if it doesn't, shit, you're in trouble. Yeah, more coffee. The fruitiness have been gone away. Uh, a little more earthy, leathery, cedar, but the coffee note is pomp is the dominant uh, flavor right now, which is good. And the retro hell. No spice. Cedar. Coffee. Cocoa. Earthy. And that's about it for the second, third. Huh, it's interesting, right? Two different wrappers. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. Alright guys, welcome back. To the end of the cigar so in the middle of the final third um the fruitiness have come back and then there's a ramp a burst of mustiness wet wood dankiness but then it went away now it's just really dark espresso dark espresso in a sweet spicy retro hell it's not like a big burst of spice, but it's there. It's like a lingering spice with a sweet uh, floralness, which that's pretty enjoyable. And on the finish, they have um, like a coffee tone, but then it's like dark espresso at the same time. To me, it's not a bad cigar. It's a good cigar. So from one to ten, I would rate this a six. A little over average. It's a good cigar. I don't mind it. Uh, but yeah, that's like my punch review. My friend always makes fun of me because I always bash on punch cigars because they are they, they are very gimmicky in my opinion. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Oh yeah, and we have a podcast. I will leave all the links in the description where the podcast is. We talk about anything and everything, including your mom. I'm just joking. We we won't talk about it unless you want us to. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the wall is not a bad cigar.